Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a translate command since it was requested by one of our subscribers in the Discord server. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. Alright, and as usual, we'll be using my own API here, alright, so uh, you can see here all endpoints and documentation, let's maybe open the documentations, I will be leaving all the links down in the description, alright, so uh, yeah, here you can just read the introduction if you want to. Uh, this is the base URL, so basically it will be this and, and then slash and whatever you'll see here. So we got Node.js examples, PHP examples and Python examples. You can just take a look at them by simply copying them like that. And yeah, we got many endpoints here, but we are interested in to translate. So it's get slash translate, so basically it will be the base URL, okay, where it's translate, here, and then you will do slash uh, translate, like that, okay, and if you try to open that, as you can see in Chrome, that will happen, it will say error, because there is no API key there. And now you're gonna ask me how to get the API key. It's pretty simple, but let's, let's just take a look here first. So we got three parameters, pretty easy, from, to, and query. So the from is the language you're translating from, to, the language you want to translate to, and the query is what you want to actually translate. So you can use the ISO 639-1 codes for the language name or the normal language name so uh, like if you don't get what is that basically you can type either English or you can type EN in the parameter both will work normally 2 works the same way but here uh, if there is no 2 set it will be set automatically to English and if there is no from set, it will be automatically set to auto. And here is the query. Okay, let's take a look at all the supported languages. All right. So we got English, Arabic, Chinese, French, German, Hindi, Indonesian, Irish, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Polish, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, Turkish, Vietnamese. Alright, those are the full names and those are the ISO codes of them. Okay, so uh, yeah. Let's move on here. This is this is what we'll get after your login here. If you just scroll all the way down, you'll see sign up and login. So I logged in, and that's the first thing you see after your login. Of course, without the admin part, that's only for admins. So, uh, yeah, we are interested into the API, API configuration, okay? So once you open that, you will not probably have this. You will have something right over here up that says get key. You got click on it and then you're going to get your own key and you'll have this, okay? Here if I clicked on the key, you see it show my key. And basically this is the plans, okay, the free plan has 750 requests per day and that's actually a lot. And here it says how many uh, requests you have today. Let's take a look if you want to get more requests daily. So uh, the light plan plus and premium. Actually, let me get the premium one myself, it's like $10. Uh, so yeah, here, it gives you unlimited API requests per day, and it lasts for a month. So here we are, 
I got it. As easy as that. So let me just go back here. All right. So uh, you're going to just get your key, which in my case is subscribe. Of course, a custom key. Uh, it's not going to work after this video, so don't try to use it. Anyways, uh, let's go into our code and let's start coding. First of all, let's create a new slash command. You can create it as a normal command as well, that's pretty easy. But in this video, I'll make it as a slash command. So, name it will be translate. Description is gonna be translates your Yeah, let's check if it's created. So, wait for the bot. Okay, the slash translate. Yep, it does exist over here. Good. So, let's go to slash commands. Go to info, perhaps, and create translate.js. And let's play a little bit here. Alright, so slash, slash command, uh, yep. Okay, and first of all, actually, let me do const discord equal required, required discord.js. Okay, I'm gonna need message embed. And that's it, I guess. So, yeah. Translate. And let's start. Uh, I'm gonna install npm i access this thing here. Okay, let me name it fetch. And it's basically used to fetch the API. But, okay, this is the package name. You can use node fetch, you can use node super fetch, you can use HTTPS, you can use the, you can just use whatever you want. I'm gonna just use this one, okay, and the process is gonna be actually easy, but since I didn't code in a bit of a while, I didn't code bots, okay, so uh, I need to actually remember how this goes, so I guess const, let's do uh, from equal, and const, uh, let me use that, I prefer it, to and let carry equal okay so this was interaction dot options dot get string uh, from okay same for those two and carry so as simple as just fetching, getting the results from it. So let rest equal await fetch using access here. Okay. And we got put the URL. So as I said in the beginning, the base URL, which is this one. Oops. Okay. And then going all the way down here, translate slash translate. So slash translate, this is the thing now. Now we got three parameters. So we go put question mark and check. We got from, okay, which is gonna be equal to, fr to from and this, the and sign. Okay, and we will put to equal the two basically. And again, query equal to uh, the query. And if you read here, all that request must have an API key as a parameter. So we got put, and again, key equal. Okay, and we got put the key. And let's define the key here, which is gonna be subscribe. 
subscribe. Oops. Okay. So uh, now, rest.data data will get us our data. Okay, it will get the JSON. So what we're gonna do now is uh, I'm going to let embed equal new message embed the set type. The set description actually or color first. Let's put any color uh, random. The set description to uh, translate to translation or that that must be the title actually. Translation. Okay and. I'm going to just put that translation is here, so yeah. Uh, res dot data dot and it's going to be translate translation actually. So if I put this URL, let me actually put it in the browser. Let's take a look at what we will get. So from it's going to be English. Two is going to be French. Carry is going to be uh, hello. And key is going to be subscribe. Okay, so as you can see here, the translation is going to be like the thing is going to be translation. So we're going to do rest.data.translation to get this. All right, let's take a look at it. Oh, hold on. I didn't actually send them, but message your channel. Why is it doing like that? Oh, because it's an interaction. Oh, I forgot. Uh, message dot reply. Uh, embeds. Embed. No dot. Okay, looks good. Translate. Okay, let's put the query as hello, as we did, and then to French and from auto. Actually, I'm not going to put it as English this time. Auto. Bonjour. As easy as that. So, uh, let's try something else. If you take a look here, actually, let me show you. Here, there is only the query. So it basically gets any text to is going to be auto and uh, from, I mean, is going to be auto and to is going to be English. Okay. So you can do that, uh, but only make the query required. Okay. And that's actually pretty easy here, as you can see. If I did hi two, see. So yeah, let's just continue here. Let's say how are you, and uh, make it to whatever language you want, Arabic, and make it from English. Okay for Halak. Okay for Halak. Okay, I guess. So uh, yeah. You can actually detect something which is if no rest.data.translation or there is no rest.data or whatever. Like, let me do or let me copy that like this. Or if there is no, I guess I can actually do it like this, I guess, here. I'm not quite sure, okay, but I'm gonna do it the way I know how it works. I didn't try the other way, okay. So interaction dot reply. Something went wrong, okay. So if there is no translation, it will just reply by that. And I'm not sure if I can just remove this and put put it like that. 
okay don't judge me i'm gonna just use it this way so yeah i guess that's how the video ends here oops translate here yeah last time let's do uh i'm good thank you let's do it to french from english and yeah merci which is which literally, literally translate thank you okay it's not the best translation ever but at least it works so yeah Thank you for, for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to like and to subscribe and leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be, that's it, and ciao!